Welcome to the Stockland Sustainable Construction e-module, an overview of why sustainable construction is an important global issue, a priority for Stockland, and a business opportunity for your organisation. It's also an introduction to the Supply Chain Sustainability School, an Australian not-for-profit initiative set up to help small, medium and large businesses involved in construction, property and infrastructure to assess and improve their sustainability knowledge. The school is passionate about providing organisations with the skills to work smarter, collaborate cleverly, protect the environment, save money and, ultimately, do better business. The module will start by defining what sustainable construction means, outline the triple bottom line issues of economic, social and environmental impacts, and tell you about the other free learning modules. Next, the module explains why sustainable construction is important from a global, national, state and local perspective, and outlines the significance of minimum building practices. You'll hear from Stockland leaders who explain why it's an important issue for them and what benefits and opportunities they believe it delivers not only for their organisation, but throughout project supply chains and the community. The final part focuses on how sustainable construction can be assessed and certified using rating tools like GreenStar, giving you some practical guidance as to how you can contribute to improving the sustainability of projects, what you can do next, and where to go for more information. Stockland are asking all main contractors on projects to undertake training on sustainable construction. And, as part of your school self-assessment, you'll need to understand the basic principles within your broader development action plan. First, let's get the language straight. Sustainability can be used for all manner of things. For instance, when economists refer to sustainability, they're talking about financial sustainability. With farmers, they might be referring to the way they've been producing crops. For the construction industry, Sustainable construction is about minimizing the environmental, social and economic impacts that we face in our work and maximizing the benefits. It refers to the structure and the processes that are environmentally responsible and resource efficient throughout a building's lifetime. From siting to design, construction, operation, renovation, demolition and recycling. This requires close cooperation by the design team, architects, engineers, work teams and the client at all project stages. The Australian Government is also a signatory to the Rio Declaration in which humanity has the ability to make development sustainable, to ensure that it meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. There can be confusion with the terms sustainability, corporate social responsibility or just corporate responsibility. Yes, they are all about delivering sustainable development, but a sustainable organisation is one that goes beyond the financial. It takes into account its wider impacts in operating and delivering value to customers, employees and business owners. It doesn't just do a little less bad, but actually achieves something good. And that can be your role, just as much as the organisation's. Sustainable development is about maximising our work's environmental, social and economic value. From an organisational and business perspective, this is our triple bottom line. The environmental element covers issues such as climate change, energy, water, use of resources, waste and biodiversity. The social element covers issues such as labour standards, human rights, diversity and community. And the economic element clearly relates to profitability as well as the contribution to the local economy and its resilience and the fair treatment of contractors. Stockland is an industry leader in this area and has already achieved Six Star Green Star or World Leadership certification on building, interiors and community scale projects. Sustainable development is achieved when a project or organisation successfully optimises its activities within the central area of this diagram. If we look quickly at the triple bottom line, it's clear the environment supports our societies and business cannot operate without both society and the environment. To put our impact in context, the Global Footprinting Network calculates that if everyone in the world lived like an average Australian citizen, we'd need more than three planet Earths to sustain our quality of life. We only have the one Earth, so it's essential we reduce our impact. Let's take a broader look at the impacts associated with construction. Worldwide, the industry uses a vast amount of natural resources and accounts for approximately 70% of all material use. 
Global warming and climate change both relate to the rise in the Earth's average temperature and the impact of that rise. Scientific evidence shows our climate is warming at an unprecedented rate and the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has concluded that it is extremely likely that human influence has been the dominant cause of the observed warming since the mid-20th century. The largest human influence has been the emissions of greenhouse gases such as methane, nitrous oxide and most of all carbon dioxide which are now at the highest levels in recorded history. At this rate, the global service temperature will rise a further 2.6 to 4.8 degrees centigrade for the highest emission scenario, a finding undisputed by any scientific body of national or international standing. In Australia, some parts of the country may become unlivable and resources will become scarce. As an industry, we generate over 19 million tonnes of waste from both building and demolishing. This equates to more than 1.3 times the municipal solid waste generated across Australia. Building waste in industrialised countries accounts for 15-40% to 40 of all waste going to landfill, while some say the figure in Australia is around 40%. The built environment is also responsible for between 30-50% to 50 of global energy consumption, and in Australia accounts for around 23% of greenhouse gas emissions. Around one-fifth of Australia's carbon emissions come from transport and the construction sector is involved as a builder of transport infrastructure as well as a mover of materials and people. The construction industry's impacts are felt in other areas too. There are the aesthetic, ecological and noise impacts on communities which affect our quality of life as well as the cultural impact on indigenous and non-indigenous communities. As an employer of over 1 million Australians, it is also a significant contributor to the economy. The 90,000 or so businesses, mostly small to medium enterprises, provide around 8% of Australia's GDP. Stockland has over 3,500 companies through its supply chains and wants to work with organisations that will learn and evolve with the market. The Australian construction sector has a high cost base and we're always looking for ways to optimise funding outcomes. Reducing waste, water and energy use, as well as work stoppages from unforeseen events like severe weather, community opposition and environmental incidents are integral to sustainable construction and maintaining an efficient and successful business. Sustainability issues have been around for years and shouldn't be seen as add-ons to a project, but as central elements to be built into planning and delivery of successful projects and having a long-term sustainable business model in the first place. How successful and sustainable is your business model? Traditionally, time and cost were the core measures of success. But over the last 20 years or so, a number of other factors have been added to these, including assurance of engineering quality and the development of the ISO 9001 standard, workplace health and safety, or WHS standards, environmental measures and controls, including ISO 14001 management systems, best practice sustainable benchmarks and certification such as Green Star and Green Star Communities. Many of these have evolved into broader sustainability measures, reducing our carbon emissions or footprint, improving resource efficiency, assessing impacts across the full life cycle of the project, and human rights, equality and diversity in the supply chain. Legislative requirements also continue to evolve. Energy efficiency was introduced into the National Construction Code for the first time in 2003 and demands on commercial and residential developments have become more stringent. With the increasing prospect of extreme weather, recent initiatives take in new standards for building in flood and bushfire prone areas. It's important that you stay across these issues. Now answer the following question to assess your understanding. Across much of the Waterlee project, the team will be working to ensure good indoor environment quality, or IEQ, in the completed homes. 
Good IEQ means targeting environmental impact along with occupant well-being and performance. The key issues the project team will be tackling cover the quality of internal air, thermal comfort, lighting comfort, acoustic comfort, hazardous materials, visual comfort, and reduced exposure to pollutants, such as those from paints, sealants and adhesives, or carpets and flooring. All Stockland staff and contractors need to consider the impact of buildings and communities on the health and well-being of both building occupants and members of the broader community. Let's take a look at some of the initiatives that are being used. Well, Stockland is creating and shaping thriving communities by working with community centres and groups to involve them in the development process, promoting better health and well-being, and increasing community learning and education. We're also trying to make each place we build better than the one before by trying to find out new things about carbon and energy, water, biodiversity and materials, learning from our mistakes and educating our own staff and our subcontractors about what we're trying to do. Also, we want to develop strong relationships with our customers and our supply chain. We want to build productive relationships with employees and ensure our supply chains are efficient, well governed and well managed. Everyone has a role in creating the best communities. So, how can fit-outs, buildings and communities not just minimise the impacts on people, but actually improve their lives? In positioning itself as a leader in sustainable construction, Stockland relies on the Green Building Council of Australia's suite of Green Star rating tools, as well as the Infrastructure Sustainability Council of Australia, or ISCA's, IS rating tool. Complementing these are sustainability benchmarks and tools developed by state governments and different market sectors. And all of these benchmark rating tools are being increasingly adopted as standard practice, and more and more private and government tenders demand that assets being built achieve a particular rating set by some of the above standards. In many instances, the rating tools are used as key factors in project design, the selection of construction methodologies and products, and indeed the selection of suppliers and subcontractors on specific projects. For more detail on each of these, check out the school's resource section. The Green Building Council of Australia, or GBCA, is a national, not-for-profit organisation that aims to develop a sustainable property industry in Australia by encouraging the adoption of green building practices. Its Green Star is Australia's leading holistic rating tool for the design and construction of any building. It covers the design and construction of whole precincts, neighbourhoods and communities, as well as fit-outs and the operations of any building new or existing. There are already over 1,500 certified projects, including everything from fast food restaurants, train stations, schools, apartments, commercial buildings, precincts and supermarkets. Green Star's categories relate to site selection, design, construction, occupancy, maintenance and operations. The rating tools are divided into categories and credits awarded for actions that improve the sustainability of each project. The current assessment categories for buildings include management, indoor environmental quality, energy, transport, water, materials, land use and ecology, emissions, and innovation. For communities, these are expanded to include elements of governance, livability, economic prosperity, environment, and innovation. Green Star rating tools encourage users to move beyond standard practice with a flexible system that certifies design, as-built, interiors, and communities projects from four to six star Green Star. Four star represents best practice, five star represents Australian excellence, and six star Green Star signifies world leadership. The Infrastructure Sustainability Council of Australia, or ISCA, is a national not-for-profit industry council which launched its Infrastructure Sustainability, or IS, rating tool in early 2012 to evaluate sustainability across design, construction and operation of infrastructure. Your ability to address the issues highlighted will depend on your role in the project and your particular contract may have specific requirements. As your knowledge of sustainable construction grows, you can use it to win more work and deliver it in a more profitable and sustainable manner. You should see this as a journey. It, it's not a one-off, but a series of steps to help develop your knowledge and awareness as the industry itself changes.
So what role do you play in making sure these initiatives are successful and in making sure that the project achieves its ratings? Well, many of the elements, issues and credits may seem separate, but are actually interconnected. Achieving waste management targets isn't down to just one or two people on site, it's down to all of us. Likewise, water management objectives are achievable if we are all focused on the right outcome and if we report leaks, problems or concerns and share ideas to project contacts early on. So at Stockland, we're always trying to improve um, our governance, how well we do things, uh, to manage the risks that are a part of any procurement, project or supply chain and help things run as efficiently as possible. We do this by following our sustainable supply chain charter that sets out how we can achieve the most sustainable outcomes working with companies in our supply chain and procure goods and services from businesses that really get what we do. We also want to create enduring employment and economic development around our projects. And that means we'll work with companies on better outcomes if they'll work with us, learn with us, grow with us. If project teams and subcontractors can understand the importance of their role, from project design to procurement to delivery, we can achieve world-leading outcomes and long-term success. Stockland has already achieved multiple six-star, green-star communities ratings representing world leadership in the design and delivery of sustainable precincts for projects such as Willowdale in southwest Sydney, Cloverton at Calcallo in North Melbourne and Kalea in the south of Perth. In addition, five-star, green-star communities ratings equivalent to Australian Excellence were awarded for projects such as Altrove in the northwest of Sydney, The Grove in Melbourne's west and New Port, north of Brisbane. This follows Stockland's Six Star Green Star Communities rating for the Aura Residential Community on the Sunshine Coast. The largest mixed use development ever undertaken under single ownership in Australia, which will be home to 50,000 people. Tens of thousands of Australian families will live in Stockland communities that were designed to be environmentally sustainable and to be livable, prosperous and resilient places. For most Australians, a home is the biggest investment they're likely to make in their lifetimes. And our sustainability objectives give homeowners confidence that their community was designed with good transport links, access to local employment opportunities, is close to shops and services, and is ultimately a great place to live. If you're committed to working smarter, we recommend using the school's online learning resources. You'll have access to over 275 free resources, and once you've completed your free and confidential self-assessment, you'll get a tailored action plan to help grow your knowledge and shift behaviours in not only your supply chain, but your industry sector. You'll be able to track your progress, receive the regular school newsletter, complete follow-up self-assessments when you're ready, suggest new topics you want to learn about, and attend free events run by the school and its partners. It's never too late to start thinking, living and working sustainably. And at the school, we're excited about supporting not just Stocklands, but every organisation's pathway to improve sustainability. Thank you for reviewing this e-learning module. Now it's time to test your knowledge, so you'll need to answer the next four questions on what you've seen and heard.